Okay, so now that you've had a chance to read about Bloom's Taxonomy and learn a little bit about the tool, I thought it would be helpful to bring in a faculty member to talk about how she uses Bloom's Taxonomy in her classes. Hi, my name is Sarah Egan Warren, and I'm the Assistant Director of the Professional Writing Program, and I teach English 331, which is a writing intensive course, and I definitely use Bloom's Taxonomy as I am preparing for discussions, and these discussions are either in the classroom or online, and it's very helpful to follow the Bloom's Taxonomy to get interesting discussions. So sort of a selfish reason to use a higher level of synthesis or evaluation instead of just that lower level knowledge because if you're asking questions on that knowledge level, you're just getting repeated information over and over again, and they're just spitting back what they've read in the text or in the examples. But when you get higher up in the synthesis or evaluation, you actually get to have a real discussion that's interesting, not just to the teacher, but also to the student. Thank you, Sarah. So can you tell me a little bit about when you're leading a discussion in a classroom? Um, you know, a lot of new TAs and new teachers always ask questions and then they're so worried about, you know, a student actually answering the question. Usually it's just so quiet out there, nobody wants to respond, it's almost like crickets, no one, no one is even saying anything. So can you talk about how the use of Bloom's Taxonomy actually engages students and helps them start to engage more with the class and actually answer the questions? Sure. Uh, when you ask questions at that lower level, like knowledge, there's only a few students who maybe carefully read the text and are going to raise their hand and spit back that information. But as you start asking questions higher up on the application or analysis level, you're asking them to think about their own experiences and apply it to what you're doing. Everyone has something to share and they can relate the readings or the examples to either their work experience or their other academic experience. And so when they can see how they can talk about it from their own experiences, mm -hmm. they're more likely to share. And once one person does, then someone else can add in, oh, at my co-op, this is what we did, or at my summer internship, we had a similar experience. And so it becomes a much more interesting discussion for everybody. Excellent. Thank you very much for sharing.